Hi guys, welcome to highschoolmaths.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at indices rule 6, which is your fractional rule. In the yellow box up at the top, we've got a to the power m over n equals a at the nth root of a to the power m. Some people like to remember that using something called flower power. Um, that comes from the fact that flower has a root. The root is at the bottom of the flower. So at the bottom of the fraction, we've got the n, which is the nth root. And that leaves the m on the top to be the, uh, the power. So let's have a look at a few examples and see how this works. So we've got y to the power of 5 over 2. So we're going to take the y, and it's going to be top number is our power. So the numerator is our power, y to the power of 5. We're going to do a square root sign. And this is the second root. Okay, so the root's on the bottom, remember. This is the second root, which is more commonly known, and you will have heard this, called the square root before. Now, normally you would just write that as the square root of y the power of five. Um, the power, it doesn't really make a difference if the power is inside the square root sign or outside uh, here. So you can write that either way, it's entirely up to you. Next example, same idea as the first one, but we've got that coefficient. So it's just three times whatever our root term here is going to be. So again, we've got b to the power three, the top, and it's going to be some kind of square root. The bottom number, the num uh, denominator, is a 4, so it's the fourth root. So we're going to put a little 4 there. It's quite important that that 4 is smaller. Um, it's not 4 times the square root sign. It's the 3 times the fourth root of b cubed. And that's how you would simplify that. Moving on to the third example, we've got a purely numerical example here. So again, we're going to write it out the same way. So it's 4. Top number is your power. That's three, so four cubed, and the bottom number is your root. So it's the second root, which remember is the square root. So it's just the square root of four cubed. Now in an example like this, you would be expected to simplify because we know the square root of four is two. You've still to cube that, but we have carried out the square root operation sign here. So two cubed, two times two times two is eight. And that would be your final answer. And that can work with a whole variety of numbers. Normally it comes up in non-calculator work which is where indices uh, and that kind of third work as well is really, really useful. So uh, next question, same idea as the second example here, but we've got a negative power. So the first step, first thing we're going to do is deal with the negative power. So I'm going to bring, keep the eight in the top, bring the D to the power of negative five thirds down to the bottom line and make that a positive five thirds. And then once we, now that we have, we've dealt with the negative sign, we can just use the fraction rule. So it's going to be d to the power of 5, because that's the top number, which is our power, and it's the cubed root. Okay, so it's the third root or the cubed root. So here we've got the third root. That's as far as that can be simplified. And in a final example, we've got our multiplication rule. Again, the whole number, the coefficients just work as normal. 2 times 4 is 8. Nothing more complicated than that. Remember back from rule 1, when you're multiplying indices, then we've got to add the powers. So it's a half plus negative a half. And that actually works out as g to the power zero. So we end up with no, even though the question started with uh, fractional indices, we end up with no fractions. Remember though, this is going back to rule number four, we've got eight times g to the power zero. You don't really need that line, you can do that in your head if you want. Anything to the power zero is one, so it's eight times one which is eight. And again, that's just shown uh, an, one example of how the rules can all be mixed together, which quite often happens in tests and exams. So it's something to watch out for. If you'd like more uh, revision materials or some worksheets to practice on, or you would just like to see some more revision tutorials, then please visit www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. And thanks for watching.